I need to talk to you about something that just surfaced, and if even half of what is in these leaked documents is true, it changes everything we thought we knew about 3i Atlas. There are claims, and I want to be very careful with my language because we are dealing with unverified leaks. Those claims say the United States has been tracking this interstellar object for 20 years, not since July 2025 when amateur astronomers detected it, but since the early 2000s. Now, before we go any further, I need to establish something. I cannot independently verify these documents. They appeared on forums known for hosting defense and intelligence leaks, and some of the technical details match publicly available programs, but other parts are completely unconfirmed. We are going to walk through what is being claimed, examine what we can verify, and let you draw your own conclusions. Hit that like button because this is the kind of investigation that platforms do not always promote. All right, let's dive in. The core claim in these leaked documents is this. There exists a highly classified planetary defense program called Cassandra, and this program has been maintaining continuous surveillance of 3i. Atlas since approximately 2003 or 2004. That is more than 20 years before the object's public discovery. If true, that means while hobby astronomers were excitedly announcing their detection of the third interstellar visitor in July 2025, classified systems had already been watching it for two decades. Now, why would that matter? Why would the US government secretly track an object that poses no immediate collision threat to Earth? Well, let us think about what 3i Atlas represents. We have established in previous videos that this object is approximately 17 miles across, the size of Manhattan. At interstellar velocities, an impact from something that large would be an extinction-level event. Not just catastrophic, not just civilization ending for humans, but potentially life ending for most species on the planet. The energy release would make the Chicxulub impact look small by comparison. So from a planetary defense perspective, any object of that size entering our solar system would absolutely be a priority target for tracking, even if current calculations show no impact risk. You want to know where it is, where it is going, and you want to maintain what is called custody of the object, meaning you never lose track of it. But here's where it gets really interesting. The leaked documents reference a program architecture that was allegedly first proposed at the 57th International Astronautical Congress in Valencia, Spain in October 2005. And here's what I can verify, there was indeed a proposal presented at that conference for an advanced near-Earth object monitoring system. The concept was theoretical at the time, focused on detecting and tracking potentially hazardous objects at extreme distances far beyond lunar orbit. The proposal outlined a multi-layered surveillance network that would maintain persistent tracking of objects using a combination of wide-field detection systems and narrow-field custody systems. Wide-field detection finds objects, narrow-field custody keeps watching them continuously. And according to the leaked documents, this theoretical proposal from 2005 became operational far earlier than anyone publicly acknowledged. Now let me walk you through what we can actually verify about the systems mentioned in these leaks, because this is where things get fascinating. The documents reference three main components, Oracle, Argus Phi S, and Umbra. And here is the thing, all three of these are real programs. Oracle is publicly acknowledged. It was launched in 2022 under the Air Force Research Laboratory as a CS Lunar surveillance program. Cis Lunar means the space between Earth and the Moon and slightly beyond. The official mission of Oracle is to track objects in that region, including satellites, debris, and anything moving through Cis Lunar space. The system uses multiple satellites with both wide field cameras for detection and narrow field cameras for detailed tracking. This is documented you can find Air Force press releases about Oracle. Argus 5th IS is also real. It is a persistent surveillance system designed to handle hundreds of simultaneous video streams. The technology comes from DARPA's Wide Area Motion Imagery programs. Argus can track multiple objects across huge areas of space simultaneously, 
maintaining continuous video custody of targets. Again, this is publicly documented technology, though its full capabilities in space-based applications are less clear. Umbra is a commercial synthetic aperture radar constellation. Synthetic aperture radar satellites use radar instead of visible light, which means they can image objects regardless of weather, cloud cover, or whether it is day or night. Umbra has been operational since 2021, and while it is primarily marketed for Earth observation, the technology is equally applicable to tracking objects in space. Synthetic aperture radar can see through conditions that would blind optical telescopes. So all three systems mentioned in the leaked documents are real. They exist. They are operational. The question is, are they being used together as part of a classified planetary defense architecture? And have they been tracking 3i Atlas since the early 2000s? The leaked documents describe how these systems would work together. Oracle provides the wide field detection and narrow field tracking in cislunar space. Argus 5. IS maintains persistent video custody of priority targets. Umbra fills in the gaps with all weather radar tracking. Together, they create a layered surveillance network that could maintain continuous awareness of any object within a certain distance from Earth. At the center of all this, according to the leaks, is the Cassandra database. This is described as a massive data infrastructure that ingests tracking data from these sensor systems, correlates observations, calculates trajectories in real time, and maintains historical records that allow analysts to reconstruct an object's path backward through time. Think about what that would mean. If you detected an object in 2025, but you had tracking data going back to 2003, you could calculate its trajectory with incredible precision. You could determine exactly where it came from, predict exactly where it is going, and identify any anomalies in its motion, like direction changes near perihelion or trajectories that impossibly target Jupiter's hill radius. Now, this is where the leaked documents get really specific, and this is what makes them either incredibly credible or incredibly elaborate fabrications. The leaks include images allegedly captured in November 2025, showing three I Atlas with metadata tags that reference Cassandra, Oracle, Argus, and Umbra systems. These images show what the documents describe as unusual structured emissions, geometric multidirectional plasma patterns that do not match normal cometary outgassing. I cannot show you these images because I cannot verify their authenticity and I am not going to spread potentially fabricated material. The descriptions in the documents are very specific. They reference spectroscopic signatures, velocity measurements of the plasma streams, and geometric patterns that the analysts found anomalous enough to flag for further investigation. And here is what really gets me about these leaks. If someone were going to fabricate documents about classified planetary defense systems, they would probably make them more sensational. They would claim definitive proof of alien technology, include dramatic revelations, and make it Hollywood. But these documents read like actual classified analysis reports. They are technical and cautious in their conclusions, they reference specific sensor systems and data processing methods, and they do not make wild claims, they just present observations and flag anomalies. That could mean they are real, or it could mean whoever created them is very sophisticated in how they fabricate classified-looking documents. I genuinely do not know which. But let us assume for a moment that some version of this is true. Assume there is a classified planetary defense system that has been tracking 3i Atlas for years. What would that tell us? First, it would explain why NASA seemed to have such detailed trajectory data so quickly after the public discovery. If they had actually been tracking it for years under a classified program, they would already have extensive orbital data, mass characteristics, and spectroscopic analysis. The public announcement would just be revealing what was already known in classified circles. Second, it would explain some of the oddities around the image quality issues we have discussed before. If there are classified systems with much better imagery, the public releases would be deliberately degraded to avoid revealing the full capabilities of those systems. This is standard practice in intelligence work. Agencies do not release imagery that shows the resolution limits of their best sensors. Third, 
It would mean that when Professor Avi Loeb and other scientists are pointing out anomalies in the behavior of 3i Atlas, people in classified programs could have known about those anomalies for years and been analyzing them in secret. The public scientific debate could be happening in parallel to a classified investigation that is 20 years ahead. Fourth, and this is what some analysts are speculating based on the leaked documents, it would suggest that 3i Atlas might have been deliberately used as a test case for planetary defense readiness. Think about it. If authorities have advanced tracking systems and want to know if they actually work for real-world interstellar threats, what better test than an actual interstellar object that is large enough to be dangerous but not on a collision course? They could track it continuously, test detection systems, validate trajectory calculation models, practice maintaining custody of a fast-moving target over years, and do all of this without public panic because there is no actual impact risk. 3i Atlas would be the perfect test case. The leaked documents actually hint at this. There are references to validation exercises and long-term custody protocols that suggest the object was being used to test system capabilities. Again, I cannot verify this. It is consistent with how military and intelligence systems are typically tested. Real-world targets are used whenever possible because simulations only get you so far. Now let us talk about what we cannot verify and what remains highly speculative. The claim that tracking began in 2003 or 2004 is impossible to confirm without access to classified databases. The claim that Cassandra is a fully operational system versus just a theoretical proposal is unverifiable. The authenticity of the November 2025 images cannot be established without forensic analysis that I do not have the resources to conduct. And most importantly, even if these systems exist and have been tracking 3i Atlas, that does not necessarily mean the government knows something dramatic about the object's nature that they are hiding from the public. It could simply mean they are doing their job, tracking potential threats, and maintaining planetary defense readiness. But here is what bothers me about the timing. These leaks appeared right after the X-ray detection was announced and right after there was a lot of public discussion about 3i Atlas being just a normal comet. The leaked documents seem designed to remind people that there are still unexplained anomalies, there are still questions that do not have answers, and there may be information that has not been publicly disclosed. Is that because someone with access to classified information wants the public to know there is more to this story? Or is it because someone without access to classified information wants to create the impression that there is more to this story? I honestly cannot tell you. What I can tell you is this. Oracle is real, Argus Vis is real, Umbra is real, and the technological capability to track objects at extreme distances absolutely exists. Whether those systems have been tracking 3i Atlas since 2003 is unverified. Whether Cassandra exists as described in these documents is unverified. Whether the November 2025 images are authentic is unverified. But the fact that we're even having this conversation tells us something important about the state of planetary defense and space surveillance. The technology exists to do what these documents describe. The strategic logic exists to justify doing it, and the security classification systems exist to keep it secret if it is being done. So where does that leave us? We have leaked documents that may or may not be authentic, describing systems that may or may not exist, allegedly tracking an object that definitely exists and definitely displays anomalous behavior. December 2025 is still going to be crucial. March 2026 is still going to tell us whether 3i Atlas enters Jupiter's hill radius, and the scientific data will continue to come in regardless of what classified programs may or may not be watching. What these leaks do, whether they're real or fabricated, is remind us that there are always layers of information. There is what amateur astronomers see, there is what academic scientists publish, there is what government agencies publicly acknowledge, and there is what happens in classified programs that we may never know about. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments. Do you think these leaked documents are authentic?
Do you believe classified planetary defense systems have been tracking 3i Atlas for 20 years? And does it even matter if they have? Or should we just focus on the publicly available scientific data? I really want to hear your thoughts on this.